So when you set this up, and I'll kind of talk through it slowly. If you're not finished, you can continue to work a little bit. Okay, the surface area is just going to be the sum of all the areas. Okay, I'd strongly encourage you to use, uh, for all of these, find each part and then add those all together. So when you're looking at a, a prism, what you're going to do is you think you have two bases in this prism. And then in here, you have the same number of lateral faces as you have sides on your base. So our base is a triangle, so how many lateral faces will we have? Three. So what you can see is if, if I were writing this out, I would always set it up visually like this. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just giving you an, op an option. Okay. And now I would use the formulas for these. So we have uh, two times our base shape, which is a triangle. So we can replace capital B with the area formula of a triangle, one half base times height. Okay, plus each of these is a rectangle, and each rectangle is going to be base times height. Now, these are not the same base and same heights necessarily, okay, but I'm just writing the formulas for each thing individually. And what I can then do is start plugging in my pieces. So the twos cancel here. The base of my right triangle is eight the height, the corresponding altitude, the perpendicular from that base to the opposite vertex is 12. And now I can move on to my <coughs> lateral faces. As I look at these lateral faces, sometimes it's useful to uh, figure some way to manage the faces you're working with. So I'm going to start with this back one. It has a height of 10 and it has a base of 8. So you're looking at 8 by 10. Okay, now I'm going to move to this next one. This next one, I'm going to take this rectangle back here. It has a height of 10 and a base of 12. So again, I'm looking at 10 by 12. And then finally, I have this front face here. Okay, it has a height of 10, but I don't know its base yet. Is there a way to find that base? If I yeah, so look to see. Does it fit a special property, a special triangle? Is this a common triple? 8, 12, are there any, anything that you can reduce that? If you look at this as 2 times 4, this is 2 times 6, not going to work. This is 4 times 2, this is 4 times 3 not going to work. So this is not a common triple, so you can use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so if we use Pythagorean theorem here, we get c squared is equal to 8 squared plus 12 squared. And so we can solve that. Now you have the option, you can either use the solve key, I'm just going to go x squared here, <laughs> is equal to 8 squared plus 12 squared. Solve for x. You could also do it by hand. Okay, we do want our answer to be in decimal form. So we get, uh, if you look at that, it's just the positive version of it. So we're looking at a base of 14.42. Okay, so when I look at all of this, so 14.42 times 10. Okay, now remember, don't use the approximate answer until the very end of your calculation. Okay, so I do want to get this answer into my equation. So if I hit enter to bring it down into my display. And so I have my value for, for the 14. Okay, and I'm just going to type in what I have. So I have 8 times 12 plus 8 times 10 plus 12 times 10 plus this 14 this whole value times 10 and now just because I wrote it in order you don't have to write it in the order I could have just calculated this first and then combined everything I just wanted to show the calculation that looks exactly like what I have written down here I hit enter and you get your total surface area 440 0.22 approximately. It's measured in two-dimensional measurement, so it's square units, whatever they happen to be. They're undefined in this case. 
<clears throat> right, but this would be an example of kind of the straightforward um, process of solving the, the surface area problem. Okay. Are there questions on any of this? All right, what if you had the following? <coughs> Want to see how far you can get on this question? And let's say you have a pyramid. 